how to beat Salamangrate other than drawing literally any single hand in your deck and obliterating them. That's what today's video is, how to destroy a deck that people think is apparently the best. Which, let me tell you something, that's taken by the actual best deck, Pendulum. So without further ado, let's go. And don't forget, before this video starts, to smash the subscribe button. Check out the beautiful Trip Game playmats on TripGaming.com. Go sign up for a Trip Game membership to get good at pendulums. Without further ado, let's go. Hey man, Salamangre is apparently the best deck, right? Please stop with this. We're going to be facing YCS winner Pascal Kim to prove this theory that I have that uh, Pendulum best deck is not a theory, it's a damn guaranteed fact. Shout out our boy Pascal, who also has his own Twitch, JPG underscore Pascal Kim, uh, where he just twitches, plays Yu-Gi-Oh, destroys people, YCS winner, go show him some love, and check out his Twitch. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video, boys. Shout out to Pascal, he's my boy. We played this game live on my stream, where we do live tournaments all the time on our stream, so don't miss out on our streams, boys. Here is going to be Salaman Great vs. Pendulums. I'm going first, and I'm playing a different list here than normal. As you can see, different lists. Obviously, I like to show different lists, test different lists on stream uh, all the time. He's a great player, Pascal, but uh, we're going to see how this goes here. We're gonna, we are gonna we do not know his hand, but I'm going to show you guys just so you could get in the mind of him. He has a Sinet Mining, he has an Effect Veiler, he has a Salamander Great Rage, uh, two Veilers, and a Foxy. So his hand is very good. He has two Hand Traps. He has two Veilers, two Hand Traps, Sinet Mining for the Foxy, and a Rage. That's very good, very good. He's a very good hand here. Two hand traps and three good Salamangre cards. Very good hand. So Foxy mining two hand traps. How are we going to clear that? We're going to see. So we're going to use Reflection. We're going to get Mastery. And now I'm up with a choice. Uh, I'm going to activate Servant. I'm, okay, I'm going to activate Reflection Effect. Special the Jackal. Oh, guess what? You're playing the best deck. What's hand traps? Hand traps don't do anything, bro. They don't do anything. Ash wouldn't have done anything because he was not Ashing a Mastery. He would Ash a Servant. Well, guess what? Reflection, Jackal, nice deck. Hand traps doesn't matter. Now, uh, the only hand trap that doesn't matter is Joel, because that card's damn good. That, that card by itself, it wins games. But the beauty of it, because Spiral's not a deck anymore, no one's playing that card. So we're good. This is our format to win, boys. Uh, we're going to link this away to Crowley. I don't know he has a Veiler, but you always want to go Crowley before Desires, no matter what. Whether he has Veiler, Nibiru, Imperm, doesn't matter. You always want to... You, it's a free card, and you're basically... He's negging one right now. So he will Veiler or Imperm or whatever. He's thinking he wants to use this effect. Of course he has to. And unfortunately, we're going to have no Crowley there. But there's no better play. You must do it. You're still He still negs one. Whether it be Veiler or Imperm, it doesn't matter. Because what if Desires banishes the knowledge, then it's useless. So even though we got rid of our Jackal there, there's nothing else we could do. We end up drawing Blue Boy and Secrets. Guess what? Look at this. We end up banishing the knowledge by drawing Blue Boy and Secrets. Are you damn kidding me? Are you kidding me? That, what? The chance of that is so minuscule. And to make matters worse, we banished two of our negates here. I've never seen a worse desires in my life. How do you possibly... We don't even play many Blue Boy Secrets. We basically drew the rest. We banished every Spubble card in our deck except these two. For ridiculous. And knowledge. Anyways, so that was absolutely horrible with desires. But uh, what could you do about it? What could you do about it? You're not going to see it and cry. What are you going to do? We're going to bounce back. So I'm not going to show you guys what you do in this situation. So our next play is we're going to normal summon the boy. We have one secrets left, but we want to normal the boo boy anyways. Get a free plus one. We're not going to pendulum summon. We had an option to Celine first and then uh, special back the, uh, the blue boy and then go into Appaloosa. But we're going to do a cooler play here. We're going to pendulum a jackal. We're going to summon the jackal first to stop a hand trap. Then we're going to go into Celine. And now we're going to use Servant. I was scared of Nibiru, even though he had the Veiler. That's the beauty of Jackal. You guys got to take advantage of Jackal when you could, guys. I can't stress that enough. We're going to now activate... Uh, we have Servant and Mighty Master. Now we're going to activate the effect of Selene. Uh, and we're going to use uh, Servant and Blue Boy to go into a Masquerina. So we turned that Garbage Desires. You guys saw that? We turned this into a still that three interruptions. And he has nothing else he could do. He knows he has a Veiler left, so he's going to activate his Veiler on the Selene. Now, I'm left with a choice. 
what if, if I negate this Veiler right now, his second Veiler of the turn, what if he has an Ibiru? I can't take that risk. So I have to let the Veiler go. Celine's going to be at zero counters, and this is incredibly unfortunate for me. Because if he saved it to the very end, I'm like, there might be an Ibiru, and he buffed Ibiru very well there because he was thinking many times, and you're not playing around Veiler, you're playing around Ibiru. Now you look at his hand, he has Rage Foxy, you sign it in another hand trap. So he's going to go uh, normal Foxy. I live with the choice now if I want to negate it. And I let it resolve. With the reason being that I can Mascarena right after. So I'm now going to activate Mascarena. And I can't Jackal right away. Because you have to negate a Mighty Master first. You have two counters on the field. So the correct way to stop the Salamangre player. This is perfect training for you guys. On my Patreon, I showed how to destroy Shadal. Shadal and Salamangre are the two best decks right now, apparently. Right? Best decks? Yeah, no. There's only one. It's Pendulum. But there's ways to beat them, right? A lot of you guys would negate the Foxy with Jackal. In doing so, I would lose to his Cyanide Mining. So what I would do, what you have to be aware of next is if I negated Jackal, I can't negate a spell card because Mighty Master, the counters would be gone on my field. I'd have nothing left. So I would let that go. I'm going to activate Masquerina back here to Unicorn away his Foxy. And now what other play does he have? He has a Cyanide Mining. If he attempts a Cyanide Mining, I negate the with Mighty Master. And he's going to be level basically in a will. So, what's he going to do here? He activates Will. I let it gain the counters. And then if he activates the effect of Will, I will negate with Mighty Master. And he realized he can't do anything there. Okay, so he sets. And realized, yeah, he can't do anything. He already normal that turn, but he's going to set the Rage. There's nothing he could do. There's literally nothing he could do auto win. Why? Because we planned our negates correctly and perfectly timed in order to beat him. Now we're going on to the next game too. Not a very good hand. We have uh, Time Gazer. Uh, but that's and Chrono. I hate drawing them both. If you just draw Time Gazer, uh, okay. If you just, that's fine. But drawing them both suck. We also have two spellbook cards, but that's okay. That's a good thing. Because now my blue boy should uh, is going to bait out his, an, an, a Veiler or an Imperm, and then I'm going to go ahead and Secret. So I actually love opening two of them. It also gives you the opportunity to normal abductor, but it depends on what we draw. He opens great here. He has desires, everything. Uh, he's going to end up using that. Uh, a very good play here. He's not using his circle. Uh, because he's going to use it as a bluff. He's going to go get that and set three. I don't use a counter trap. So I have Imperm, Roar, Circle. But I just look at this as three back row. I know Gazelle in hand and he has a Jaguar in hand. So there's four uh, four possible interruptions. I'm thinking Jaguar is probably a, another rail, uh, hand trap. Uh, a Roar, probably a Rage. So I'm dealing with a hand trap, Roar, Rage. That's what I'm thinking in my mind. I'm dealing with like an Ash, Roar, Rage. I always think that when they set this much. But, uh, so I'm going to be wary of that. I look at what, what I draw. My next to a Jackal. I'm like, yo, this hand actually ass. The only good cards in this hand is the Abductor and the Swabble cards. The other cards don't do anything. That's why I believe that uh, Jackal and Mighty Master are not very good going second. I know Mighty Master is, like, needed to go second. But uh, if it's just if you drop three Mighty Masters and nothing else, you can't do anything. You need one Mighty Master. But we're going to search the Mighty Master. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to try and bait out a hand trap. Uh, he lets the blue boy go. It's unfortunate for us. You always want to try and bait out hand traps as much as you can. That's the beauty of the blue boy. We're not going to activate the abductor. Not knowing to me is in the imperm zone. Very unfortunate. We're not going to activate uh, uh, chronograph. I, I don't want to use the knowledge because I know he has counter trap. I want you guys to see this big brain play I'm about to do. Very important. I do this on the Patreon all the time for you guys to learn. I activate the chronograph. Obviously, he's not going to negate this. Obviously not. I know he has counter trap. What do I do? I pendulum uh, the jackal right away. I just pendulum one card. Who pendulums one jackal from hand? You guys are trying to overextend, go, go time gazer, link to whatever garbage. What do I do? What do I do? I, I then activate the effect of chronograph, going neg one, getting rid of the time gazers from hand. I recognize that I have two spellbook cards, right? So I can freely link with this card away. It's like I didn't draw two spellbook cards, it's like I drew one. I'm gonna save the knowledge for the very end for a follow up because I know he's gonna negate that with roar, obviously. But I'm gonna get rid of the wolf before he has a chance. I'm going to link summon the blue boy and the time gazer into a, a nightmare phoenix. I'm not going to act. I, I, I say summon good. He says summon's good. I don't activate the effect. Enter battle phase. I know he's going to counter trap it. No way. Enter battle phase. He's like, wow. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of both for free. If he had rage, he would have used it on my scales. You have to play like that. You have to be smart. Rage is a one of left in his deck. What's the chance he draws that? No way. So we're going to get rid of that. Knowledge draw two. Just like that, I baited him using that. And now I'm going to attempt to... Uh, I use Abductor, and he, it was huge. I'm going to use Abductor to search Mighty Master to clear the rest of the board. 
I'm going to clear the rest of the board. He is so big. He imprints of Doctor and the Jackal. That's so big and so unfortunate for us, boys. Very unfortunate. Next, we go Desires. Okay, I know one's dead. The other, I don't know whether it's probably a second Desires or second Signet Mining. Because you have to go through the motions. All right. He imprinted one of them. All right. Which means that Desires, Signet Mining, the next, he didn't use Rage. It's probably a, a dead card. I didn't know a circle. I thought it was like another Desires, Signet Mining. Gazelle, the other card, could, he didn't ask the knowledge. He didn't, uh, it could be a Veiler. Something in Veiler or another Salamangre card. Desires gets me Upstart and Spell Power Mastery. Unfortunately, none of these cards can hold counters. That's so unfortunate for me, man. So unfortunate for me. Uh, our next line of play, we're going to Mastery into a Magister. And we're going to want to store as many counters as possible. And potentially special it with Selene. So I'm going to go Selene first and then Mastery to get a free extra counter on the, the thing. But it didn't matter. It's active. We want to save the Magister because what a cool play we could do here is uh, he might not know. But you guys might not know as well. Selene can special from hand as well. So even though we have nothing special from Graveyard except for a blue boy, on his turn, we could special the Magister, and then Magister Effect will take three more counters out of Selene to special Reflection. We need a Reflection on his turn. One Reflection is enough uh, to end to end Salamangrate's turn. Again, Salamangrate, prioritize that. Next, we go Upstart into Souls. What a draw. That's what the whole deck is. Unfortunately, Abductor is not keep keeping counters. We're going to use Souls to send Reflection, and we're going to... Uh, I did... For some reason, I, I, did I, yeah, a big misplay. I didn't use Blue Boy, of, I did, I specialed the Souls, but I didn't use his effect to discard the evenly. That was just a complete mistake. I completely forgot. Uh, I understand he could strike that, whatever, but he's probably not playing that. He would have struck my Pendulum Summon or something, but a uh, big mistake on my end. I, I obviously meant to use uh, the discard the evenly. That was just a misplay. So that was my mistake. Now I'm going to pass my turn by making an IP Mascarena because I know on his turn, I'm going to use Selene to special another card and I could make Unicorn, no problem. Oh, now, uh, yeah, yeah, I should have done it to draw a card just to see it, but I'm unicorning it away anyways. He's going to circle. That's what the card was. Unfortunately, the doctor's still not getting counters because of the imprint. And his turn goes. So he has Foxy, Gazelle. Uh, he drew Veiler, Gazelle, Jaguars. He's a hand trap and those. So I'm, okay. He has a Veiler. Can I use it my turn? He uses Foxy. I have to let everything go. Luckily, he just draws another Foxy. At this point, I must unicorn it. I cannot let anything go to the graveyard. So I'm gonna uh, go. I'm gonna use Selene effect and a Masquerade effect, and I'm gonna go into Reflection. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I didn't want to take that back. I should have gone into Blue Boy. If I use Reflection to bounce the Foxy back, uh, Selene goes back to my. Yeah, I can't. Do, sorry, Reflection cannot bounce to Selene because uh, it has to literally go to my hands. That was a mistake that I realized too late. That if I use Reflection, I literally realized as I was playing. You guys are going to see this as well. Reflection cannot bounce Selene back to the hand. Because it has to physically go back to the hand. And because it's an extra deck card, it cannot do that. So the only way to get rid of a card here is Unicorn. So we're going to go Unicorn to get rid of that. And now look at his hand. Roar, which he cannot use. Because we didn't let him make a Bailinx. Gazelle, which he cannot use. Nothing went to the grave. Jaguar cannot use. Dead Foxy, he drew off the Foxy. And a Veiler. He can't do anything. And that's you, you got to prioritize Unicorn and Reflection. He can't do anything there. He has a Roar left that he can't use in a Veiler. So now we're going to play around like a, he has an Ibiru. Uh, so, okay, around Ibiru, let's we'll try and play around it. We have enough counters because of Jackal. Uh, we're going to Special Souls here. Uh, I'm going to go into Napalooza to play around a Hand Trap. I'm um, okay. Uh, attack, he's going to be like, yo, before you enter, uh, Veiler. He's going to try and lower, lower the attack. Still main phase one then. Normal's not attack for game. So just like that, we bested Salamangrate. Very good player, Pascal. He drew too many Salamangrates, it might seem. But we won. He's a great player, Pascal. And it just shows how to beat Pe uh, Salamander properly as long as you use your pendulums correctly. A lot of you guys have trouble with it, but we do that on our Patreon all day. So hope you guys like this video. Smash the subscribe button if you like it. Smash the like button if you guys liked it. Go check out the beautiful Trip Gaming Playmats and TripGaming.com. Check out the beautiful Trip Gaming Patreon membership to get better at pendulums. We do stuff like this all the time on the Patreon membership. And it is true training to destroy the meta. I hope you guys like this video. Shout out Pascal. Shout out you guys. We'll see you next video.